I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to watch this uh, little video. Uh, this is going to give you a good understanding of how Digital Album Design's templates work. They are a series of uh, templates that are in PSD files, and what we've done is we've created uh, a series of actions to work in association with the templates. Uh, essentially what we've done is we've taken Photoshop, any version from 6 on up, uh, through all the CS versions, and have basically turned Photoshop into an album designing tool. Um, over here on your right hand side of your screen, I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see it a little bit better. We have created a series of actions. These actions allow you to select and copy, you have a load selection, a background fill, F5 is for photo A, F6 is for photo B, F7 is for photo C, and F8 is for photo D. Anything above D, you would use the load selection. And then, basically, these are actions inside of your Photoshop uh, program. You're going to get them on the DVD when you order this. And what you do is you load these actions, and it'll allow you to take your actions palette. You can switch it like we've done over to button mode where you can see everything and you can use your mouse in order to trigger the action. Or, if you prefer, you can use the F keys on your keyboard. You'll see here you got F8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2 um, that allow you to just use your keyboard if you so choose to. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to use the button mode for the course of this uh, little training video. Let me show you how simple it is to create a template inside Photoshop with using Digital Album Design's templates. Uh, for example, let's take our first image here. Let's say we want to take the picture uh, right here. Now we click, we select the image, and we go up to our button mode in our actions, and we hit uh, F2, which is going to be Select and Copy. Immediately you'll see marching ants come around the image, which tells you that your image has been selected and been copied. Now we go over to our template, and what we're going to do is in our template, we're going to choose where we want to place the image. So let's say we want to put this image into, uh, into layer C. We go back over to our, our button mode action area, and we're going to click on F7. We can use the keyboard, or we can use our button mode. For now, we're just going to use the button mode. And that'll automatically take that image, drop it into the template, place a free transform around the file, and convert it over to a 300 DPI file. So what we're going to do is by holding our shift key, you can't see this, but I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I'm holding the shift key down in order to resize this file and using my mouse to basically constrain the proportions and place that image where I want it. I want to rotate it a little bit. And then what we're going to do is press the Enter key on our keyboard, and it's going to pop that image right in there for us. There's no cropping other than using your free transform, and it's just going to bury the image right into the alpha channel. Let's go back over to an image. Let's select and copy our image. Let's get the picture of the bride and groom coming out of the church. And what we're going to do is go back up to our actions. We're going to hit F2, which is select and copy. We see the marching ants come around the image. And we're going to go back to our template, and let's say we want to drop this into B. All we're going to do is we're going to click on F6 on the keyboard or use button mode. And let's just blow this up a little bit. Let's just move it. Now keep in mind, we can also nudge this with our little arrow keys. If we want to just go left or right, we can go up and we can go down. And let's just hit Enter, and let's lock that image in there. Now, let's say we want to drop an image at the bottom here, and we want to put this in A of the bride and groom kissing with the church in the background. So we go back up to, we hit select and copy. We go back over to our template. We want to drop this into A. We hit F5 in button mode. It's going to drop the image in there, place the free transform around the file, and we're going to open it up a little bit, and we're going to rotate this image. And you can kind of see how this is all coming together. We're going to push it a little to the right, and then we're going to hit enter. Now. That's how easy it is to use Digital Album Designs. And we're doing this all in Photoshop. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted to desaturate a picture. We could do all that. Every tool that we have available to us in Photoshop is available to use inside the templates because these are PSD files. Now, let's say we're not happy with the way this template is and we want to change it up and we want to create a new look. So all we're going to do is over on our Layers window, 
we can just turn layers off. Let's say we want to drop out, uh, we want to remove uh, the two top layers. We just shut the eyeballs off and we take them out. And we want to drop an image in the background. So we select our background image. We just, you want to click the mouse directly on your background image. And let's say we want to drop this image in. So we hit select and copy, F2 again. And we want to place this in our background. We go over to our template. As long as we've selected our background layer, all we have to do is use our keyboard and we want to play, we want to hit control V, which is going to drop the image in our background. And then we press control T. This is on PC, just in case you're wondering. For Mac users, you're going to basically do the same thing with your keystrokes because this is also universal. It can be used for Mac or PC. So let's say we want to drop our image in there. We're going to make this a little smaller so we can open up this image. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this image in, but we're going to, let's nudge it up a little bit. So we want to put something in our background. We want to change our template around. Now, it looks nice the way it's going to come up, but the problem is we want to bring a more presence to the foreground in the image on the, in the lower portion of the screen. So what I want to do is I want to take the opacity and drop it down on my background image. So what we're going to use is we're going to use our keyboard. On your keyboard below your F keys, you have one through zero, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero. Let's say we want to hit the number six and that'll drop our opacity down to 60%. Let me blow this up for you so you can see it a little bit better. And you see how we completely changed our template around. And let's say we're not real happy with the, with the way this image is on the bottom here. We want to make it a little bit smaller. This is the great thing about digital album designs. You just select the layer where that image was placed in directly above the photo A layer. And we press control E which will flatten the two, will bring those two layers together. It'll basically merge the two layers together. And then we hit control T and then we can resize this layer and make it a little bit smaller. So if we want to bring that layer down a little bit, we just move it right over to the center and we just drop it down a little bit. And now we have a completely new looking template. To kind of give you a good understanding of how this works, Digital Album Designs is a series of templates, but it's only limited to your imagination. You can make millions of different templates within the templates that we've created for you. And you're basically, the only thing holding you back is your creativity. Um, these are extremely easy to use. You saw how fast we were able to correct, change, manipulate a template and create a page. Now, also another thing I wanna mention is keep in mind, these templates are not just for weddings. They're for just about anything. They're for portrait sittings. You can create a family montage of a portrait sitting. You can do just about anything with these templates. I hope this video has given you a little bit better insight as to how these templates operate inside Photoshop. And if you have any questions, once you purchase them, always feel free to give us a call. We're more than happy to help you out in any way with live tech support. So thank you again for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy using your Digital Album Designs templates.